All right, welcome to this daily horoscope for Wednesday, March 25th. My name is Athen. Okay, so we have the moon still in Taurus today, which is really nice and a very nice aspect between the sun and Saturn, a trine element today. So I think overall, this is going to be a day where the energies where it may have been a little bit clunky the earlier part of the week where we've had half of the energy in Aries, half of the energy in Pisces still of this sort of, you know, energy brewing, but then maybe it doesn't have a channel or we're still trying to incorporate it into going with the flow and these types of things where Pisces is about rest and relaxation and Aries is about action and energy. But the, but the movement is definitely going towards more of the Aries, uh, into the Aries element here, especially today, and I think it's going to flow quite smoothly. We enter the first quarter phase today, or we'll start to feel it. It'll be exact tomorrow. And so I think this is definitely the push here with the trine from Saturn in terms of an opening, a flow, a nice ease when it comes to the things that we're working on, the things that we're moving forward with, especially things around the area of productivity, pragmatism, discipline, hard work, all of those Saturnian things, and even a dose of creativity as well because the sun is our self-expression. So I think that's going to go quite well today as well and creativity and anything that we're doing that is about our enjoyment. So very nice energy there and I would really suggest putting it into something active or something that is productive in some sort of way. And with that moon in Taurus, this is a good time to, you know, bring in the enjoyment into what we're doing. Maybe, you know, if, if it's at work, maybe have a plant or something at your workspace. You know, that would be a Taurus energy there. Have the good meal, the relaxation you know, the aromatherapy, maybe light some incense or some essential oils. Implementing the Taurus energies into what we're doing, which is essentially just connecting to our senses and to nature, will really help things flow today as well. Now the moon's gonna be sextiling up to Uranus, so there's some excitement, maybe an opportunity to try something new and different today, to break up the routine, so I highly recommend if you have that opportunity to definitely do so. Uh, mix things up, try something different do something out of the ordinary, I think that will also help contribute with this forward moving momentum. Now the only challenge of the day is that the moon is going to be squaring up to Mercury a little bit later in the day for those of us in America. So this has to do with our thinking and our communications, maybe having some sort of difficulty. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it can maybe feel that way. And so if you are experiencing that, I think the best remedy for this is to observe the mind, observe your thoughts. And through that, naturally, uh, they won't have such a uh, influence and they won't be so clunky because the thing is, is this is an energy where we might be trying to say something. We might be trying to, uh, you know, think our thinking might be a little bit scattered. So the key here is to kind of with the moon energy is to kind of step back and see the difference here between from the observational standpoint between our feelings and our thoughts at the same time and just have that distinction, that observation. I think that will help uh, smooth things over with the mind if you are experiencing something like that. But all in all, it could also just be that the mental sphere is available for this productive energy because the square energy does have to do with action and utilization. So I think through that observation, we can really utilize our mind and our communications to the utmost today, especially with so much other things happening uh, that are positive in the astrology. All right, so let's go and draw a card, see what spirit has in store for us. <clears throat> okay, soul, the sun. So this is very nice to come up because it's trining up to Saturn. So this is about creativity. This is about self-expression. This is about letting your light shine. And so with Mercury, you know, in, um, in Aquarius right now, there is this Leo energy that can be balanced through this, which is the fun, the enjoyment. So maybe this is a reminder from spirit to really tap into the creative side of things, to do things through your enjoyment, through your passion, really listen to your heart. What gives you that sense of just passion, enjoyment, excitement for what you're doing? I think that might be a clue in terms of where the flow is from that trine up to Saturn, what these exciting things might be and how to implement that overall passion in what we're doing. I think that will be the way to get the most out of this transit. And it's probably a reminder from spirit to do just that, or it could be anything creative. It could be anything romantic as well, which is also the sun. But I think all in all, just enjoying yourself, really seeing the things that put a smile on your face and maybe doing those things today or implementing them into what you're doing. 
All right, well, thanks for watching. You guys have a fantastic day. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.